So BB is being more and more used in patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma. It was demonstrated to be very effective in the relapse refractory setting as monotherapy, but nowadays we can also use it as consolidation strategy in patients that have a high relapse risk after an autologous stem cell transplant. It's being used for patients that are not eligible for autologous stem cell transplantation or for those patients that are candidates for autotransplant, uh, but they have not achieved a metabolic complete remission with the standard of care salvage chemotherapy and even BB has moved to the frontline therapy with the data that we have from the Echelon 1 trial uh, in patients with advanced stage classical Hodgkin lymphoma. So the major uh, toxicity of rituximab bedotin is peripheral sensory neuropathy, which was a toxicity that we have learned how to manage since BB was introduced outside prospective clinical trials in our uh, real world. How we have to manage the toxicity, first of all, it's very important to have a multidisciplinary team, so we have to work in close contact with neurologists. They are the ones that have the best experience and know how to better uh, explore these patients and identify really uh, neurotoxicity, which is uh, subtle or which is grade one, probably better than us or better than me. So a multidisciplinary team is the most important thing. Beyond, and then, of course, basically, uh, this represents um, um, uh, an early diagnosis of the complication. Then, when the complication has already appeared, we uh, need to know that it doesn't make any sense. In fact, uh, this is incorrect to continue giving brentuximab at the same dose. So we have two options here. The first option is to decrease the dose, and there are clear uh, guidelines on how we have to decrease the dose depending on the initial 100% those that we were given to the patient and the grade of neurological toxicity that the patient has developed. So that's one possibility. And of course, if by decreasing the dose, um, the uh, grade of neurotoxicity decreases, we are eventually allowed to go back to the in initial dose to try to maximize the efficacy of the drug. Of the drug. Then the other option is to increase the time interval between uh, rentuximab bedotin doses. So usually the drug is being given every three weeks so we have the possibility to make it every four weeks. In addition to that, if with all these strategies we see that um, peripheral sensory neuropathy doesn't go back to at least a grade one, at some point some patients need to, uh, to stop the drug um, definitively, so with no option to reintroduce it.